Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. So let's start with introduction to economics for Eco 162. Okay, the first one in this chapter, you have to know the definition of economics. So for definition, in terms of conventional perspective, Economics is a study of how people use their limited resources to fulfill unlimited wants and involve alternative or choices. How people use limited resources, limited or scarce resources. We have uh, resource. Uh, we we have not much resources, but we have to fulfill unlimited wants, and it involves alternative or choices. For Islamic perspective, a study of man's activities in line with Sharia to obtain, use and manage the economic resources for the betterment of oneself and other both materially and spiritually in order to achieve the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, that is economics. How you decide for yourself by using the limited resources but you want many things okay so for economics we have two branches microeconomics and macroeconomics micro from the word micro means small okay so microeconomics is the study of individual parts of the economy such as public choices business choice and personal choice for example Demand, supply, cost of production, price of goods. Small scope, price of chicken, demand for shoes, demand for smartphone, supply of burger. Only small unit. But for macroeconomics, a, a, a bigger scope, the study of the economic system as a whole, such as national income, trade cycle, unemployment rate, inflation, and general price level. For micro, we only study the price of chicken. But for macroeconomics, we study a general price of level. Price of level uh, includes chicken, goods, or services, many more. And uh, in microeconomics, we have a personal income. But in macroeconomics, we have national income. For example, national income in Malaysia. Do you know about GDP, gross domestic product? In Malay, KDNK, keluaran dalam negara kasar. So, this, uh, that's KDNK or GDP is about the national income. How much the income get? In a year or in a month. Unemployment rate, you know, unemployment rate, inflation when the price, the general price level increase. We have inflation. If the sugar price increase by 10 cent, it is not considered as inflation because only individual, only sugar increase. But for inflation, we, we calculate all goods in Malaysia. Okay, that's all for microeconomics and macroeconomics. Next, for basic economic concept. The concept in the basic economy is first, the resources in terms of land, labor, capital, entrepreneur are very limited. That one is scarcity. Very limited resources. Scarcity means terhad. Limited. Okay. It happens when human wants, our wants, human wants, always exceed limited resources to satisfy them. Our wants is very, very, is very much, many more, uh, unlimited. But we have limited resource, limited money. For example, you have three thousand income, but you want to buy house, you want to buy car or food or clothes and many more but your resources your income is only three thousand how you manage this this one is called as scarcity 
when we have scarcity choices are to be made you have to choose for example you have 3000 you want to buy this or buy this which one is more benefit to you for now so you have to decide you have to decide you have to choose so choices uh, replace and the thing that you didn't choose call as opportunity opportunity cost defined as the second best alternative that has to be foregone for another choice which give more satisfaction means that um, uh, the thing that you have to let go you have to sacrifice that is opportunity cost i show you an example for example you have money 3000 my 3000 ringgit and uh, you have a lot of goods to buy but the most important you want to buy now is laptop and camera both of them each of them cost 3000 do you uh, do you afford to buy both goods no right because you only have 3000 laptop also 3000 uh, laptop 3000 and camera also 3000 so you cannot get both because you only have 3000 because of that you have to choose to make a choice either laptop or camera for ali would be laptop would be your priority for now but for uh, abu camera is more important because she uh, because he is uh, a photographer so you have to decide which one is more important let's say ali choose laptop camera would be your opportunity cost because you didn't choose that thing you sacrifice camera because you have to buy laptop okay that one is your choice give more satisfaction but for abu abu will choose camera and laptop would be abu's opportunity cost abu have to sacrifice abu has to sacrifice laptop because he need uh, he need more he need uh, the uh, camera so have to let go laptop the resources also could be time you have limited time but you want to go to bank or to school at the same time you cannot go both place at the same time you have to choose either go to bank or to school right now if you come to the class to the school so going to bank would be your opportunity cost you have to remember opportunity cost is something that you that you have to let go to sacrifice to forego you didn't choose that part the one that you choose is your choice okay and uh, could be uh, you have a firm to produce books and pencil but you have limited resources you have to choose either books or mm, pencil if you choose to produce pencil your the book would be your opportunity cost okay understand okay so uh, i think that's all for this video i will continue uh, another part in uh, next video so in next video i will explain basic comic concept by using ppc which is production possibilities curve okay thank you all assalamualaikum